Okay, so I posted this article from Polygon, uh, from Polygon's Allegra Frank. She posted this June 23rd of 2016. And uh, Polygon is really good for posting things about feminist frequency and other uh, feminist personalities and causes. And the title of her uh her article is Feminist Frequency Editor Calls Out Gaming's Straight Male Status Quo at Games for Change. Now, Games for Change seems to be this, um, I guess it's like a conference of some sort to help sort games out and uh, their, their exclusivity, that not platform exclusivity, but... Um, race and gender exclusivity and things of that sort more uh, uh, uh social issues when it comes to games and they believe at least this uh who's this person she's talking about pettit uh i can't find her first name carolyn, carolyn. pettit yeah. uh she made a great many points about um you know, why is it always a white, a handsome white man in the starring role of a game? Well, it's not always. She was making generalizations, but that's how these things work. That's how hyperbole works, right? Um, and she made statements like, why is it not a gay black Muslim woman? Or uh, why is there a judgment a value of judgment intrinsic in these things that they have to be a white male or they stand so far out of the crowd that they're never going to gain any notoriety. And I think I posted this to say that people are creatures of habit and they've gotten used to seeing Nathan Drake, the Mario Brothers, uh, snake, big boss, they've gotten used to seeing a bunch of white heterosexual men in their video games, and that's all right. And I don't think anybody is saying to them that you can't have a gay black Muslim woman starring in a game. It's awful specific, but uh, I do if you made a great game that starred a transsexual black yeti from the moon, I wouldn't give a fuck if it's a great game. Go ahead, Mark. I know you were waiting, so I'll let you oh, go. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I was trying to read the rest of the article. Anyways, what I, what, no, me and Nate were talking about this before we started the podcast. Um, I have an issue with Allegra Frank or whoever it is that wrote this. Purely based on the fact that if I'm making a video game, right, I'm sitting down. Now, I can't do that shit for anything. Don't get it twisted. Can we but time out? Sit down, what's up? Is that bitch's name Allegra? Like the Allegra. medication? Yes. <laughs> Moving like on. Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's cool. Yeah, I even but if you Allegra could Frank. make a video game. She has a pill for a first name and a first name for a last name. It's perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm sitting down to make a video game and I'm going to make a... You know, a Nathan Drake, a even a, a Tomb Raider, or any of them. What am I going to make the game? If he, if there's a, if there's a male protagonist in my game, or I want to make a game with a male protagonist, who the fuck am I gonna pick? Am I going to pick a gay Muslim black dude? No, no. Why? It's not because I'm racist. It's because I'm a white dude and I want to be the fucking protagonist. Mm -hmm. so right. It's I your don't, story. I, you want it to yes, be your story. Exactly. And and let's not lie. There's, uh, there are plenty of Japanese game makers, um, Chinese, I'm sure, right? All mm. the nations, oh, yeah. I'm assuming. Um, lots and lots of different game makers. So if somebody wants to make their game of something else, nobody whined because Shinobi was a ninja. It's because he's a fucking ninja. He's Japanese. He's a fucking ninja. Okay? Um, so when you make a game, you make it based on what you want, and you say whatever you want. Most of the, a lot of these games come out of studios that are predominantly white countries, are they not? France, can uh, Canada, fucking United States, right? Mm -hmm. UK. Yeah, yeah. So what are they going to make their game off of? 
You're gonna make, I'm a white guy, so I'm gonna make it a white guy. Well, and you want to get mad at the Japanese for making picking Italian uh, brothers that are gonna last 35 years of video games. Well, then you need to go talk to them. Well, there you're right. There is some like xenocentrism about the whole thing, but I think either way it doesn't matter because it is the artist's vision. Uh, in well, in corporate game making, there's a lot more factors to it. Yeah, of course, but uh, in a more wholesome world, it is the artist's vision, and to deny the artist his vision is just for the sake of inclusion eh, I wouldn't not, do it just I'm to, not down. I wouldn't do it despite you just based on the fact that I'm making the game if you want to make the game then you make the game and you make it a, a female protagonist I don't understand mm -hmm. what the big issue is more females need to be in the gaming industry yeah. bam I can tell okay. you I mean I've never <laughs> once turned down a video game simply because of the protagonist no, it, never. I've never turned it down for any other reason than I don't want to play that fucking video game. Yeah. If it looks cool, looks like it plays cool, uh, and I'm hyped about it, I... I but then it's going to come back... It could be a transsexual but, unicorn. But the, don't the give a fuck. Are gonna, the feminists are going to go right back to the, oh, well, you play Tomb Raider, and you play Bayonetta, and you play this. They're all just uh, fucking big-ass titties bouncing around. And blah, blah, Sex blah, blah, objects. Blah. <laughs> Sex objects. Blah. So it, you can't fucking win. So, you know, I mean, I understand not every female is a sex object, but let's not lie. If you poll 90, you know, all the fucking heterosexual males on this country, they're not going to say they want a pig face fat girl. <laughs> so I mean, let's not lie about it. It is what it is. You know, I mean, I just don't understand why they're so upset about something mm. like this. If, if I'm making the game, were you going to switch Nathan Drake in the middle and be like, no, he's a uh, he's a black was, uh, Muslim chick. Like, what, you just made Nathan Drake a black Muslim shit? Like, yeah. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Y'all are retarded. You're, you're arguing a moot point. If I'm making a fucking game, it's going to be a white guy. And probably me, and I'm not even that sexy, but I'm putting me in there. <laughs> Where do you stand so, on this, Nate? Um, like most new wave feminism, it's stupid. Um, you can name plenty of games. Mark just named several that have a female protagonist. Um... I would like to blast one of the things they the, the examples they give is is them not deciding to go with a female link. They decided to go with a male link oh, again in the new see, Zelda game. Go ahead, which I'm is not cool. gonna interrupt you. Yeah. Nope, go ahead. You I'm know not why? Because Link's a dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> there it is. He has an Damn. established history of male. And while they could have made him a female and it wouldn't change my opinion on the game at all, there are plenty of um, games in in the series where you can play the princess Zelda. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the, Zelda is actually a very bad example for them to use because they have a very strong, at least in recent years, a very strong female character that is a major part of the storyline and that you can play. Um, but I don't know. I mean, you have to go with your audience. And whether you like it or not, most of the people playing at Uncharted, we'll use that example, are probably white males. Yeah, yeah I'm you know? sure, or I'm people sure there's who a don't lot of Japanese people if, that if play the character too, right? is a white male. But like it's if it's an established history, I don't like them changing it. They, you know, you know, it if you changed if you made a game about civil rights and made Martin Luther King white, that'd be dumb. That'd be oh, stupid as shit. There would be riots in the street, bitch. <laughs> right. But aside from that, it would be dumb because you're just changing his race to pander or to accommodate people, which is stupid. Martin Luther King Jr. was a black man, a very prominent black man. So why would you ever change his race or gender just to appease something? And I realize that Martin Luther King is a real person and we're talking about fake people, but it's the same thing. If you change Gandalf, and here's a fake person, to a female, people would be pissy. It, it makes no sense. So if the feminists want stronger, better female leads, which there are plenty of in the gaming world and like clay i've never not played a game because of its protagonist ever if i felt ever. it was a good game and most of the games i like are like dragon age and i played a or, chick in that me too or skyrim where you make your own character and which i go back and forth because it's good to get it from two different perspectives especially in a game like fallout or there are games like dragon age where you have a whole party yes so there's plenty of female representation 
Um, I just think that it's 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 foolish. And if they want there to be more female protagonists, <clears throat> then they should make video games. Damn. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they're fighting the wrong fight, trying to give, convince video game makers to change their vision. They need to just make the games. Dude, you know? I'm a pissy bitch, and if I was a video game maker and I read this shit and it was like pointed at me, I would purposely make the next one the most whitest dude I could make. <laughs> Pale as an albino. Because <laughs> fuck y'all. Because you don't get to tell me what my fucking uh, art is supposed to look like. No. And, and, and they, I mean, it, it's not a problem well, I, to encourage I, more people. I just, I just thought of a perfect example. Did Vincent Van Gogh, or no, will you go all the way back, all these paintings, did they paint black people? Did they paint Asian people? When no! It, only when they, it was appropriate. Only when it was appropriate. They didn't make the random dude standing next to them a Chinese dude. No! He just painted him, he's white! Mm-hmm. So he's I white! Mean, and when they went, and when they went to to visit Asia or Africa, they painted the people there. They did what was appropriate and what their vision saw. And I will just counter that real quick, y'all. Go ahead. With the fact that Jesus is white, but Jesus would not be white. No, he, Jesus was a fucking he was uh, Arab. Arab. Yeah, it was he an would Arab. be a very yeah. dark-skinned man. <laughs> yes, but, but uh, I, it, I think I new age feminism, new age feminism in general. Is just a sign of our culture, of who we are as a people. Oh, of, like a bitch. Of how we let things go. Pussified. Um, Good job, America. but uh, but uh, uh, it has become the norm in America that if you are not sensitive to other people's sensitivity, you're automatically labeled some kind of monster. Racist Well, bigot. hold on. Yes. Yeah. Here's yeah, immediately. What, yeah. I'll use this Allegra Frank as, as my example. Here's the problem in her argument. It's not that she wants there to be more female protagonists. It's that she wants there to be less white male protagonists. Yes. She doesn't want to even it. She wants it unbalanced in the other way. And that's not what equality is. Uh, they're not, but, uh, yeah, but I don't think they're arguing for equality. They're arguing for change for the sake of change. Uh, not a, not necessarily any change no, and, for the sake of good. And uh, let's not lie. Are you, you're going to, you, these people would placate them and run the risk of running off your clientele base based on some bitch that's not even going to buy your game? You make a fine point. Yeah, I'm just being perfect. It's, it's no, like uh, Frank out there running around buying very, all these games. There's a very good chance that a great percentage of your white male audience are a bunch of sexist bigots. They're assholes. Uh, yeah. 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 They're, they're, prob they're probably a good percentage of them are assholes, and to alienate them when you're trying to make a profit is a terrible fucking idea. Agreed. Well, and work on changing the problem, not the symptoms of the problem. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how many times have we had that symptom versus problems argument? A million uh, times. A couple, at least. Yeah. Well, not on the, we were talking about just on the podcast, a couple. In real life, five to a billion times. Me and Clay have that argument once a week. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that's why I think they're, so. they're fighting the wrong fight. They, the problem is not that there's too many uh, stereotypical protagonists. The, the, the problem is that there aren't enough artists willing to diversify a and to argue right. reduction problem. rather than addition is backwards. It's like, uh. it's like, uh, like the comic book industry. There's a whole push for ethnic and female heroes, and that's cool. But make them their own hero. Don't yes. just change the race or gender. I mean, you know, look at, there's a female Thor. There's also a horseman Thor. <laughs> named Beta Ray Bill. Okay? Make them their own people. Nobody wants to read Beta Ray Bill. Okay? Nobody cares mm. about horseman Thor. Okay? No. Wonder Woman. No. You know, there's female, the Jean Grey. There's, they're, they're out there. Don't take away from the ones that are already male. Add to the ones that are female. Add to the ones that are, you know, racially diverse. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm sorry. I, I can agree with that to an extent, Nate. Maybe we do need a little bit of change in there, okay? But when they started these comic books and all this shit, you couldn't put a black guy as a hero. You right. would have sold zero and got your ass thrown out of Louisiana. 
Well, that's okay. because your audience was white. Ex well, agree no, you can't tell me black people didn't read comic books in the 40s and 50s. There weren't enough of them. Okay, but you can't tell me they weren't reading them because I'm sure some black kids were reading goddamn comic books. I'm sure. So, But you couldn't have got away with putting a black protagonist in there. All right. The, the reason why there's too many white men in video games is because there's a lot of white men playing video games, historically. Bam. Yes, All right? there you and go. You That's must, the answer. you must pander to your audience. You have to, because you've got to sell millions of video games to stay in business. What they need to do with all of this funding and the, the crowdfunding and the charity they're, they're taking in, especially Feminist Frequency, she's taking in hundreds of thousands of dollars to make a series of like five videos. Bitch, we made fucking 40, no, over 100 videos on exactly a zero dollar budget. So maybe perhaps take some of that and make a game. En encourage some female artists encourage some black artists encourage some people that have visions that stand outside the norm with monetary gains and you'll see it come to fruition instead they're taking hundreds of thousands of dollars for selfish projects right like, she did the problem not the symptom yeah yeah I, she never even finished her original series and she she crowdfunded like fucking hundreds hundreds of thousands of dollars to make i don't even remember maybe it was 10 videos she did like four of them and then she just up and started another fucking crowdfunder anyways this is gonna get ugly i'm just gonna go ahead and stop this topic now all right so number two i feel you bitches get some artists and make a video game yeah right. pay the artists. Buy it. encourage them